Winnie, can I talk to you for a second? Just a sec. I gotta pee. Um, okay. No, you don't! Your first mistake was coming here. I was in surprise when I found out. I mean, she's been sleeping so much lately, I just kind of expected her not to wake up one day. I can't say I'm happy about it. She may have forced me to be with Wyatt, and she may have been forcing me constantly to listen to Kip's music, but that's no reason for her to die. I don't know why you're talking to me about this. You were with me the whole time. Yes, yes, but I need to know everyone's side of the story to, you know, get the complete picture. Nobody asked you to figure out this mystery. That's the thing about mystery. It never asks. Stop! There's poison in the lemonade! Winnie is dead! Kip is dead! What? What? You're Madeline! Where's my sister? That's it! Nobody move. Nobody leaves this house till we know what happened. Interviews start immediately. You're first. You don't seem very phased by these two deaths. Why is that? There's no reason to be sad over such things. And what was your relationship with Winnie and Kip? Oh, the three of us were three peas in a pod. What? She said that? I don't think Kip and Winnie ever talked after what happened last year. Hmm, interesting, interesting. No! Winnie! Winnie, wake up, please! You're a horrible piece of trash, you know that? Winnie was better than anything you could ever be. You're one to talk. You neglected your sister. You're so full of yourself. My relationship with my sister is something you could never understand. I did this play to support her. She said it was to capture you, but we all know. It was for Charlie. Disgusting. I was in hiding for a year. Do you know what that's like? Can you imagine the fear? I didn't mean to kill Charlie or Marie. It was just a moment of pure emotion. But you have to understand, I did not kill your sister. But you did! You did! You poisoned her, and you poisoned me. She... Winnie... She was never noticed by Charlie. I don't care. She always paid more attention to that Nancy girl, and and she and she just let it happen. Wyatt, listen. I care for your sister. I did. I do. Look at my face and know that I'm telling the truth. No secrets. Look. You please, just help me and let me go. I came here for your sister. I did not come here for this. Hey, Rodent, where do you think you're going? To the hospital. I'm not just gonna sit around here if I've been poisoned. John says to stay in the house. I just love John. I never met such a snake in my life. That big headed fellow wants to talk to you. Of course. You're gonna go to jail. You know that, right, Tuna? Oh, good. Please, sit down. So, Wyatt, is there anything you want to tell me about your sister? Well, I, I know this isn't particularly important, but... Since she probably died from poison or consumption or whatever, I think it's worth mentioning that she was pretty sick recently and very sensitive to some substances. You're a monster. 
What is, uh, are you, uh, do you think I know how to get out of that handcuff? <sighs> oh, what, what was that for? You know the truth about Kip. I'm sorry. Madeline? Madeline! I have a confession to make. Yeah? I can't do this anymore. I let Madeline go. And now I'm gonna have to kill you. John, if you don't fix this, I'm gonna gut ya. Whoa, whoa. Let's all just calm down, suspects. I mean, people. We're all friends here. Madeline poisoned me. I can't die. I have three pit bulls to take care of. Tequila, listen. John is the murderer. Avenge your sister by killing John. That makes perfect sense, dog. Winnie kept insulting you, so you had to kill her. And you poisoned all of us to, to get rid of the evidence. Madeline explained it to me very clearly. What? No. I drank the lemonade, too. I drank the lemonade. Sometimes I just pass out and sleep I think it's worth mentioning that she was pretty sick recently. And <laughs> Wait, wait. When Winnie drank the lemonade, how long was it from then until she died? I don't know, like a half hour? Why? Are you trying to get away with murder now? Stalling for us to die? No, no. You need to listen to me. The lemonade was never poisoned. It was Kip's music. It alters people's minds. And Whitney's was too sensitive, and that's what killed her. Sounds fake. Get him! Fine. My name is Jaden, and I'm in need of your assistance. Predictable. <laughs>